This is code.org. Let's see. This icon means that the level is part of a larger project. Ah, yes. So I think this has the code from our last time. All right. Calling functions multiple times. You'll often want to use the same code at many places in your program. 100% true. Once you've created the function, you can call it as many times as you want. And so what they're saying there is calling a function is just asking that code to run. So let's see. Do this. This code creates a sprite that moves across the screen. How can you make it go back across the screen? Note, the function is already called once at the beginning of your program. Let's see. Oh, look. So this is a function call, right? Set flyer, this green block thing, is us asking the computer to run a set flyer function. Now, where is that? It's down here. So the computer will go, okay, create this variable, create an animation for it. Set flyer, what's that? Mm -hmm. Schmack. It sees this and says, oh, okay, I need to run this code. Puts the X location, sets the Y location, gives it a velocity, hits the bottom of our function, and then it jumps all the way back here, right? It's done. It ran that block, and it keeps going down from there. We hit the draw loop, and it's going to run the draw loop 30 times a second. Draw loop's the only function that doesn't need to be called. All right, so what's it saying? Read the condition, condition of the if statement. Okay, so here's my if. If the flyer's x value is less than negative 50, well, where's that? It's going to be shown down here and here. Here's my x value at 40. Here it is at zero-ish. Okay, so if it's less than negative 50, it would be like here, right? So it'd have to be way off the screen. All right, so if it's less than negative 50, why do you think it's there? Use the if statement and the function written for you to make the sprite move across the screen multiple times. Okay, so right now it's only going to go once. Jaw loop runs 30 times a second. We're redrawing the background right here. We're asking the computer, hey, is our sprite negative 50, which would be off the screen? Is our sprite off the screen? No, is our sprite off the screen? Now keep in mind with an if statement, if statements will only run if this is true. So it will check every time if my sprite's x value is less than negative 50, which is off the screen, but it would never run code inside of here unless this is true. So like right now, my x value would be like 360. This is false and it just runs the code beneath and keeps going the second it is true it's less than negative 50 it would run the code inside well how do we start this program well we start it how do we start our character way over here we start it by using what trees background right we run this blah, 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 blah. how do we start our character way over here we start it using set flyer that's how we start the program with our character over on that side so now if we need to restart it. We want to reposition our player. We don't need trees background. That can be here. The background's at the top, but we need to reposition the player. So don't we want to reset the flyer? So let's call that exact same function right here. And notice we can do this. Normally, I would have to write all of this code up here, and then I'd have to write the exact same stuff right here if I wanted to write neat if I needed to reset the flyer. Now I have a function, so I can just say the name of it, and it will go find this block of code, run whatever's inside, go back, and then just keep running like normal. Let's test. Ta-da! We did it. Onward.